uh, engineer Bruno Viot. He's the chief operating officer of ADF. And he was the CEO of AS Group, a subsidiary of EDF. And we're very happy to have him with us in here. Oh, thank you very much for your invitation and for the opportunity to express the view of my company about the complementarity of nuclear and renewable um, in a well-balanced, low-carbon electricity mix. But before coming to the point, um, let me introduce myself and say a few words about my company. So my name is Bruno Fio, and I'm the uh, CEO of uh, EDF Energie Nouvelle, which is the subsidiary of EDF in charge of renewable. EDF, you may know this company, it's a French utility, um, acting in generation, distribution and transmission, supply and also energy services. I will not go through all these numbers, but I will give you some. Uh, it employs today 155,000 people and has a cell turnover of 71 billion euro. In France, on the gener generation side, EDF has a mix which is 80% nuclear and 17% renewable, among which PV and wind account for 7%. EDF has also a strong expertise in nuclear. It owns and operates 73 reactors with a total capacity of 72 gigawatt and they are located in France and in the UK. On the renewable side, EDF has a fleet of 28 gigawatt with the objective to reach 50 gigawatt by 2030. PV and wind account for 10 gigawatts, the rest is hydro. EDF Energy Novel is a fully owned subsidiary of EDF in charge of the renewable. It employs 3,000 people all over the world in 22 countries. The company is active all along the value chain from development of project, building the project, and also operating them. But to come back to the subject, I would like to, uh, remind, to remind you that according to the International Energy Agency, over 70% of electric capacity additions between today